Hey, what's going on? Long time no see. Uh, I want to show you a binary clock I made today. So binary clock, if you're not familiar, I should actually uh, open one of these up here. Let's do that right here now. Binary clock. So if you Google uh, binary clock, you're going to see a lot of these images. And uh, this is this is what they look like. This is what a binary clock looks like. I think they're kind of cool. I thought I'd code one up uh, just so I can use it for whatever. So uh, let's take a look at it here. So I have this binary clock. And uh, yeah, this is what it is. So this binary clock will tell me the time of day, like a clock you'd expect it to. Let's try and figure out how this works. So each column here represents a digit, right? Each column represents a digit. So if you know binary at all, right? Uh, you'll know that the lowest one value is a one and then up is this is worth two, this is worth four and this is worth eight, right? And the next one would be 16, but you never end up needing that uh, value. So the way that this works is I can look here at the first digit this is on, so this is one. Now this is one plus two, so this is three, so one, three. So you can see it's 13, right, 13. And then this one, okay, we've got nothing here, so that's zero. And then we've got a four and a one, so it's five. And then, you know, we've got our seconds here and those are gonna keep changing, but let's just grab it real quick. It was two and then zero. Okay, so the current time is uh, 1.05 and uh, 20 seconds, right? And of course that is changing all the time as time does. So uh, yeah, it's 1.05 in the afternoon. I'm on break, Alan, okay? Alan is my boss. Uh, I just hope he knows that I'm on break right now, so I'm allowed to do this. Anyway, okay, so uh, yeah, so that's a binary clock. So why would I wanna do that? Well, it was kind of fun to code up the code, which I'll you know share the GitHub repo. The code is terrible. But um, so I built this binary clock, but I had no real place to use it. So then the next thing I did is I, I made binary clock the same thing, but as a one-liner. So you type binary clock one line, and uh, you get this output right here. So this is the exact same thing that you see uh, on the other side here, but now it's a one uh, one line and uh, it's the exact same thing. So I can see zero, 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 one. Okay, so it's uh, it's currently one and then plus three, so 13, right, exactly. So uh, now it's still, I still know it's one o'clock. Now, what good is that? Well, that is good if I now want to throw that into a sed, right? So I'm going to substitute all the ones for a block and all the zeros for an empty block, and I get something like this. Okay, and now, if I can get something like this, I can throw this up into my uh, my bar at the top. So I'm actually using a binary clock at the uh, top of my screen here, right? So uh, for the past uh, two months, I've been, uh, I've been using this as my clock exclusively. And in fact, I'm making this video because it's been so painful using this clock. Uh, I just wanna switch back, but I'm like, I gotta make the video first. So I, I have, now I've made the video. So, okay, so that's my binary clock. And uh, yes, you can see at the top of my screen. So uh, the funny thing is, because it's so annoying to check the time, looking at this thing always, uh, I've just been uh, typing out date all the time because there's like, yeah, I can do this calculation. I'm getting way faster at it. And that's one of the reasons I did this. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, four conversations deep on Slack and you're trying to figure something out and you just want to see what time it is, like this thing is actually a little bit annoying. So time to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, like I said, the code is uh, it's going to be available on GitHub uh, and I've got it right up here. So you'll be able to take a look at it. Uh, if you have Nix, you can install it very easily. If you're using Go, you can install it very easily. Um, and it's Go code and it, it's shockingly bad Go code. I just kind of hacked this thing out, made sure it was working and uh, that's it. I don't think I have tests or anything. Nope. And uh, yeah, like I said, I, I wrote this back in September. Uh, I meant to make a video, but life gets in the way. Anyway, uh, I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool. I like it, but it's time to put this thing to bed, as it were.